Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Aqua True reverse osmosis water filtration system. And I'm going to tell you about why I got it, who I think this machine is right for and who it's not right for. How does it work? What do you actually get when you buy it? And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you if I think it's worth the money. That's what we got. Let's talk about water. So as always, timestamps will be down below if you want to jump around the video and find what's most appropriate or interesting for you. But for me, when I started thinking about getting a water machine and looking into water filtration, you know, I always just want to start when I'm thinking about optimizing my health with the basics, right? And really dialing those in before I try to do anything crazy. So obviously hydration and water is one of those things. It's one of those basics that if you can get that right, then you can really pull a big lever for your health. So for me, I knew that the quality of the water that I drank was very important. I personally am a big fan of spring water and so I was traveling for, I don't know, the last couple months and I was always buying Mountain Valley spring water, which is my favorite spring water you can get at most supermarkets. It comes in a glass bottle and it's really, really good. It tastes good, has good mineral content. It just feels very high quality. Also, I like that it's in glass so it can be recycled. But it was starting to get expensive and I was spending a lot of money on water every single month. And something that I also realized is not everyone has access to high quality spring water where they live because back in San Diego at my old house, I used to have spring water delivered to my house. So a couple months back, I did a video with a hydration expert. Her name is Tracy Dews. I will link up the video right here and down in the description for you to go check out afterwards where she sort of broke down the levels of hydration and what to think about when it comes to your drinking water. And she recommended the AquaTru as a good countertop option for a reverse osmosis filter system. And to combine that with remineralizing the water with some Quinton minerals to uh, put the minerals back in the water that are taken out during that filtration process. You know, one of the main reasons why I decided to get an over the counter filtration system instead of an under-the-counter filtration system is that Tracy mentioned in that video that if you have a compromised immune system that you should uh, not use under-the-counter units because bacteria and mold and all gross disgusting types of things can sort of gather in those dark and damp and sort of tucked away places whereas an on-the-counter filtration system like the Aqua True, you just put the water in, it filters, and then you pour it out and you use it pretty immediately. So nothing is staying stagnant in that dark and wet place below the sink. So what do you actually get when you buy the Aqua True? Well, you get... <laughs> it's doing its thing. So you get the three filters, which are enclosed in this little side compartment. Then you get the two tanks. One is the full gallon tank that you're going to put all the water in. And that is where the water gets filtered through that process. And then it will be converted into this secondary reservoir, which is about 75% of this one gallon tank. There's a pouring spigot on the front where the water actually comes out of the little reservoir. The reservoirs are made from BPA and BPS free plastic. So if you're concerned about that, then you can just take the reservoir off of the actual AquaTrue unit and you can pour it into a glass container if, if plastic is a concern for you. But these are made from the same or similar type of plastic as uh, let's say the Vitamix. So you actually have four filters here on the side. The first is going to be a mechanical filter that removes dirt and rust and sand. The next is going to be a pre-filter which removes chlorine and chloramines. The next is going to be the actual reverse osmosis filter which removes aluminum, arsenic, asbestos, chromium, copper, mercury, nitrates, pesticides, lead, and prescription drug residue. And then the final one is a VOC carbon filter that removes toxins from gases. It goes through an activated coconut carbon filter for taste to make sure that the water actually is uh, has a nice flavor to it. I wanna give you an idea of how big this machine is. I'm just gonna line this up right here. So that is a normal size spatula. So that's how tall it is. It's a little bit bigger than that. Lay it on the ground right next to it. And that is about the length of it right there. And then obviously it's not very wide. That is what you're looking at in terms of real estate and how much space it takes up on your countertop. There are some things to know about this machine that I wanna educate you on. Something to be aware of if this is something you're interested in is if you notice here, there uh, is about six inches, maybe less, about four or five inches of space in between the shelves and uh, the water and so when you're going to replace this you need that space 
to be able to take off the water and put it back on so that it can do its filtering process when you're replacing the water. Something to be aware of. There's one more thing about a reverse osmosis water machine or this one in particular that you also need to be aware of that's very important is through the reverse osmosis process, the, uh, the bad stuff is being taken out, but also the good stuff, AKA minerals. So uh, as Tracy has instructed, I went ahead and bought some Quinton minerals. I have the quintessential travel pack right here. As far as I can tell, these are essentially the same as these except the way that you ingest these is a bit different. The way that you use these is a bit different. These, you just tear open and dump it in the water and you're good to go. And these are really, really high quality minerals that come from the ocean. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use these Quinton minerals, which according to Tracy are like the highest quality minerals that you can get. So I'm gonna just pour a glass of water and then I'm gonna put these in there and I'm gonna show you what's up. Okay, so right here we have some filtered water, reverse osmosis filtered water. And now we have our Quinton minerals. I'm gonna grab a paper towel right here. And I'm just gonna crack this open. Watch. Boom. Okay, so I've just taken off a little glass piece right here. And the way that this is created, I don't really understand how it works, but basically uh, nothing will come out. Nothing will come out. I have to now crack the other side. Boom. Now all those minerals are in the water and this, see both sides are broken now. So now this water has been remineralized and now I get to drink it. It's very tasty. What I notice when I drink water that has been mineralized or remineralized or high quality water that has lots of minerals in it, I notice that I don't have to drink as much water probably because I'm getting more hydrated. If you're gonna introduce any new supplements into your regimen, then uh, obviously speak with your doctor or health professional, whoever is helping you in that regard, okay? Mm. Now I'm gonna talk about what I like and what I don't like. So first and foremost, I love how easy it is to set up. You literally just unpack the box, you plug in the filters, and you plug it into the wall and fill it up. You run it a couple times. And once you run it a couple times, it's good to go. So the maintenance is pretty easy. What they recommend is that you just wash and scrub the water reservoirs once a week with a little soap and water. And that's enough to make sure that you're keeping those things clean so that nothing builds up. I like the price. It's very affordable for an RO machine. It's coming in at $450, which is not too bad considering I was probably paying somewhere between two and 300 bucks a month just on water alone when I was buying bottled water. I like that it's relatively small and can be packed up if you're a renter or if you're someone who's moving or you're a traveler and you wanna make sure that you have clean water anywhere you go. Then this is something that's not too cumbersome and won't take up too much space, whether it's in your car or whether it's in a bag or something like that. I like the convenience of just filling it up in the evening or filling it up first thing in the morning and then having close to a gallon of water throughout the day. I love that it's really high quality BPA, BPS, free plastic that is important to me. And I love all the different filtration stages that it takes the water through. A big plus about the AquaTrue is that I think it looks nice, it has a nice aesthetic, it looks good in a nice kitchen, and therefore I don't have to have this big bulky thing that takes up a bunch of counter space and looks really ugly and doesn't really match the rest of you know, the beautiful kitchen that I have. And the different filters last anywhere between six months to two years. And to replace those filters, in total, all of them is only about 90 bucks. What I don't like about this water filter is how many times you have to change the water because it is a smaller unit. I end up having to change it multiple times and it does take about 10 to 15 minutes to fully filter and refill. I also am not a huge fan of having to remineralize my water. It's just one more thing that I have to do. But with that being said, I really like the high quality minerals that Tracy recommended, which are the Quinton minerals. By the way, if you're liking this content, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help get this video out to more people and consider subscribing if you wanna see more health and wellness product reviews. So the question really begs then, who is this for and who is it not for? Well, I think it's for the person who wants a good water filtration system at a low cost and with not that much hassle. This is also for someone who might have a compromised immune system and therefore the under the sink sort of solution doesn't really work or is appropriate. This also might be for someone who lives in a place where you can't get access to high quality spring water that can be delivered to your house. The other people that this might make sense for is someone who's renting, or like I said before, is traveling and moving from place to place, but wants access to high quality water and wants a water filtration system, but uh, can't invest in something that's gonna be a little bit more of a permanent solution. In addition to that, someone who just wants to be more 
conscious of their consumption and their plastic usage, uh, you know, as we are heading quickly towards a global crisis. So, uh, yeah, if we can reduce the amount that we consume and use and we can use more renewable sort of systems for things that we need, then, you know, we might slow down the process of, uh, you know, global climate change and all that. So let's talk about who is this not for. This is not for someone who has a really big family. The reason I say this is because if you have a really big family, everyone's drinking a lot of water, you're gonna have to be replacing the water all the time, like five, six, seven, eight, nine times, depending on how big your family is and how much water you drink. So if you know it's just a couple of you, then I think it's manageable, but anything past three, I think sort of is gonna start getting out of hand in terms of how many times the water has to be replaced. The other person that this doesn't make sense for is just someone who doesn't want a countertop RO machine and uh, wants something under their sink or wants spring water delivered or something that might be a different solution uh, in that regard. And last but not least, but this comes with almost every single RO machine, is that uh, if you don't want to remineralize your water. And let's be clear, you might not have to get the super perfect epic minerals like I did, but maybe you get some Himalayan salt or some Celtic sea salt and you add that to your water, a pinch of that to your water after you pour yourself a glass. So it doesn't have to be super cumbersome and, and turn it into a whole nother thing, but just making sure that you get some of those salts and some of those minerals back into your water is gonna be important. Or you find other ways to get those minerals, uh, whether through your diet or through other supplementation. But all things said and done, I really do believe that the AquaTrue is an amazing product, especially for the price point, for the way that it looks, and what you actually get. Hey, really quickly, I reached out to the company as I was making this video to see if I could get some type of discount code for you. And I did. So the company's called Water and Wellness, and they're the ones who sell and bundle the Quinton Minerals with the AquaTrue. And if you decide to buy through my link, it does help support me and also gives you that discount. So I just wanna mention that because as I was cutting together this video, I realized that I had not mentioned that. Anyways, I hope you found this valuable and I will see you in the next one. I think it's a good thing. So uh, there's a link down in the description below. If you found this helpful, you buy through my link. It really does help support the channel, help me make more helpful content like this. And I'll be doing lots more product reviews in the future. And if you haven't seen that other video with Tracy Dews where she talks about the secrets of hydration and the truth about your drinking water, I will put that link right here and down in the description. I will see you in that video. All right, take care. I'll see you soon.